joined by Lauren Winfield Hill and Fatima Sana of the Barmy Army. Lauren, coming to you first. Always a difficult question. How are you feeling? Um, I think obviously um, it's disappointing. Um, we didn't come here to to lose today, but I think. The overarching feeling is immense proudness of the girls. I think the way in which we've played this competition, the way in which we've all gelled together, everyone's put their hand up at, at different stages has been has been awesome. And I think it's just been the way in which we've gone about our cricket. We've played with a lot of fun. We've had a lot of passion and um, and really good togetherness. And I think you know there's largely most things to be proud of. Um, although today, you know, obviously hurts. Um, and we've seen the passion with which you've played your game for the Barmy Army and the role you've taken as the captain. We saw it on the screen when Laura Cardoso took that wicket today. How proud are you of the development of some of the players in your team? Oh, it's awesome. I think that's been our strength is that, you know, we, we're a team. We're not one or two people contributing. We're, we're lots of people contributing. Full nation, internationals, associate players. You know, we, we've really... We've come together at different at different points, and everyone's put their hands up. And I think, you know, the the talent in the squad is, is awesome. Um, there's some some really fantastically skilled players, some great competitors, um, and I've really loved leading this team. It's been it's been a lot of fun, um, you know. And I think it's just the stepping stone and the starting block for a lot of these girls. Um, and Fatima, can we please pick up the microphone? As well? um, a phenomenal performance from you with the bat today. It looked like you would got yourselves to that defendable total. How good did that feel for you out there today? Uh, Alhamdulillah, first of all, uh, and that uh, I was waiting for that opportunity in the batting. So definitely uh, I was trying to put the good total in the scoreboard. So it's helpful for our team. And when it got to the close of your innings, did you feel you had enough to defend on the board? Uh, yeah, I think it's a good total, uh, but uh, obviously it's a, a small ground and we all know about the betting skills of the against team. So definitely it's a good total, but uh, still we were short almost 10 to 15 runs. Um, and what's it been like to come back and be part of this Barmy Army team again? You have got one more game together tomorrow, the third place playoff, but how much have you enjoyed this experience building on last year as well? Uh, yes, obviously, I feel like it's my family because I always enjoy with them. Uh, so definitely uh, tomorrow is our uh, third position game. So we will try to our best to play the and uh, we will take the third position. Uh, and Lauren, how impressed were you by Fatima today with that and all? Yeah, she's awesome as well. I think it's really important to know like Fatty's also fasting and it's a it's been a piping hot day out there today so I think the effort was even more monumental than sort of perceived from the outside I think to score that amount of runs and to really you know inject some some energy and some boundaries into the back half of that and then to come out and bowl the first over of the game to dis dismiss Danny Wyatt is is a massive massive effort so I think you know we her efforts don't go unnoticed we always we always look at the fine details amongst our performances and and that sort of effort was you know, it was it was awesome, um, and you know, it's something that we we definitely congratulate. She got the tin of biscuits today, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, she um, she definitely got noticed. And was there a point that you thought you might be able to grab victory from the, the, the claws of defeat, perhaps in that defence of the total? Oh yeah, like I I I think we were right in the mixer until the seventeenth over. To be to be perfectly honest, I think. You know, at times we know the the Falcons they they come out hard in the power play, and and we we've seen that at times throughout this competition. We never we never panic. We sort of own those middle overs. Um, and I think right up until that sort of 16th, 17th over, we were we were well in the mixer. I think a couple of chances just quite didn't quite go our way, and it could have potentially been a different story. But I think when you're not quite at your best, those those sort of half chances don't quite go your way, and it was it was probably a case of that today. Um, and if we go to your questions from the floor, Gomesh, do you want to go first? Yep, thank you. Uh, uh, hi, uh, guys. Harlek on the result. Lauren, I just wanted to ask, you know, um, after the few wickets that fell in quick succession, uh, was there a bit of a, you know, uh, certain belief or like, was there a, something that you wanted to try out that didn't work out, you know, in the last few overs, especially after the middle overs where you got a few wickets? 
Um, in terms of in the bowling innings, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was, you know, it was just about executing and um, and taking our opportunities, and we probably didn't quite manage to do that under pressure. Um, and like I said, you know, up until the 17th over, I thought we were right in the mixer. Um, but we know that, you know, that Marazan Caps, a, she's a world-class player. We sort of get sick of saying it, to be honest. Um, and she's a, she's very good at finishing games. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. I think there was there was complete belief along along the group, amongst the group the whole time. Um, and that sort of hasn't changed throughout the competition. We just didn't quite manage to to execute and take our chances. Um, and Mo, um, can we go to one from Mohit? Um, yeah, I've I've loved leading the girls. I think it's been a lot of fun. We've sort of we've chopped and changed how we've gone about things. Uh, everyone's had you know different opportunities, which has been awesome, and everyone's put their hands up at different times. I've really I haven't actually you know having not captained this year in the hundred. I haven't captained for a while, so it's been um, it's been good to put my tactical hat on, um, and that's something that I I really enjoyed, and I hope that. You know, I sort of galvanised the group and brought everyone together, and I certainly enjoyed it. And you know, I think I hope for, hope that the rest of the girls did as well. Susie, you are into the final second year running. You must be pretty buzzing. Yeah, awesome game. Um, I thought the way we stuck in there with the ball after some very good batting from the Bami Army um, was brilliant. And you know how Chamari batted at the start there, really gave us a good chance and really impressed with Mariko Hill at the end to finish the game off and obviously Mara's uncapped, so just so pleased that we get another opportunity at a final with a, a great bunch of girls. And Shamari, you just keep showing up, do you, how much do you just love playing in, in the Cayman Falcons? Actually, I'm really happy to uh, participate in this tournament and I'm happy to join these Falcons, it's like my second family, so I'm really uh, excited part of this tournament and uh, good management, especially coach, captain Susie and the management, everyone support me a lot. So I'm really happy in here and playing with Falcons. So we have one game left. So uh, last year we are runners up. This year we have trying to go our best and win the championship. And Susie, how great is it to be able to have the likes of Marazan Cap perform like that at the top of an innings and get you off to that kind of start? It's brilliant as a captain to have Chamari and Danny White opening the batting and then Marazan Cap, it's, um, it's brilliant. And with the ball as well, Chamari's done a great job. So to have that experience to turn to, I know I hate facing Marazan Cap, so it's really nice to captain her and just give her the ball and bowl her four overs and take as many wickets as she can. And look, she's the ultimate professional. She's played a lot of cricket um, in the last few months, but she turns up when it's needed. And are you enjoying getting to turn your own arm over and have a ball too? <laughs> I am. I, I love it. Um, and as captain, sometimes you shy away from bowling yourself. But I did feel like we just needed a few tight overs. So backed myself to um, try and get through a couple of overs with the spin because I thought that was the hardest to face near the end. And Tamari, what do you think it was that was so important today for the Falcons that just really clicked to get you through that last Actually, we've done our three-part really good, so I think we need to improve some fielding. Uh, so I feel few fielding errors today, so we have to improve in within 24 hours, so that's it. Um, and talking of fielding, Susie, you know you've taken 10 catches in the tournament now. You're top of the catch list, so you must be pretty pleased with that one. That's what happens when you're captain. You put yourself at long on where the catches go. <laughs> so, no, I, I do really enjoy my field in. It's the best part of the game that you get to do with the team, and I love taking catches. So, you know, sometimes the ball goes your way and sometimes it doesn't, but um, Chamari bowling that ball to Dot, and as it actually left her hand, I was not happy because it looked slow and I thought it was going to be hit for six. <laughs> but she miscued it, and I managed to just time the jump, so that was a key wicket for the game. Um, I think we have a few questions from the floor. If we go to Moet first. Thanks, Rodi. Uh, hi, congrats on qualifying for the final. Uh, my question for Susie. Uh, I wanted to ask you about two of the associate players who have been with your team for both the seasons now, Keita Satish and Mariko Hill. Uh, Mariko 
for them had a great display today and FIFA has been stellar right through the tournament. So what is the kind of growth that you've noticed in these two players specifically and what has impressed you the most about them this season? Yeah, you're right. They've both been brilliant um, both seasons. I think last year, you know, everyone was finding their feet in this environment, whereas now I can see that they're both really confident performing their role. And we've tried to be consistent with batting T at three and Mariko at that five, six spot. And um, I think they've just grown in confidence at this level and they know now they can, you know, compete with the best in the world. And so that confidence um, comes from our group and our leadership that they're good enough and they're superstars. So it's brilliant to see Mariko with the ball as well to get these opportunities um, outside of playing for Hong Kong. And T's going to be a real legend. She's a classy batter. She's got really good leadership skills. So I'm excited to see what they do outside of the Falcons, but happy to have them in our family. Uh, actually, uh, I'm not thinking about the uh, opposition score. I just play my natural g game. So I just see ball, hit ball. That's my normal thing. But I'm really happy to bat in with Danielle White because she has a lot of experience and she's like a very good opener. So I, I have that opportunity. I got that opportunity bat in with her. That's really privilege for me and good opportunity for me. So happy to work uh, work with her. And we are talking each other. We share our knowledge. So I learn a lot of things from Danny. So really uh, happy to uh, be in it. Uh, hi guys, congrats on reaching the final. Uh, first, I have a question for Suzuki. Uh, uh, speaking of the catches, number of catches you have taken, Suzuki, uh, it seemed like uh, some of the catches you didn't actually fall down or roll down after taking the catch, uh, which is something you generally do. Uh, how was it, you know, to do that? <laughs> yeah, thank you. I get a lot of stick for. Um falling on the ground and I reverse cup nearly every catch I take but I've figured out a way that I'm confident with it and sometimes I hit the ground just to kind of give myself a bit of give with the ball but I get a lot of stick so I do try and stay on my feet but sometimes as long as I catch it I don't care where I end up. <laughs> Hi. You, you, you generally just said that your batting approach is sea ball, is hit ball, but uh, you know the conditions through this tournament haven't been very conducive to batters. How do you approach in such situations where you know the ball is moving around? Actually, I always back into my skills. I know condition is tough for the batters. So uh, as a batters, we have to adjust these conditions. Uh, as a senior batter, uh, I can't uh, blame for the wickets so or conditions. So I have to adjust. So my main thing is uh, my hands. If my hands ready, my eyes ready, uh, I can hit the ball. So that's that's secret. So yeah, tough condition uh, for the all batters. But I think uh, I adjust this condition uh, in first two games. So I'm really happy to um, play this tournament in here. Thank you and all the best for the final. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, last question, Susie. What's the plan between now <coughs> and looking ahead to the final? Um, I think Cayman is actually going to take us out for dinner, which is nice. <laughs> um, we get spoiled a bit, but yeah, we're going to have some Thai quiet night, I think. Um, it's been a pretty busy time because we have done a lot off the field as well as on the field, which is important. So go get some dinner, rest up, and then have one more game tomorrow and then party after that.